Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today, we are stripping down the play field on the Williams Grand Prix. Um, I'm going to do this one different than I did other ones. I'm going to strip it completely down. And then that's going to be it. And we're going to do a video on pop bumper disassembly. We're going to do a video on spinner disassembly. Just to get, um, because this is a, a very... Um, different EM than a lot of other ones so I kind of wanted to break it up like this to um, highlight all the different little parts on it so we're gonna do a play field tear down and that will be one video and then a play field rebuild will be another video so let's get my boxes of parts that I will be not parts of everything and I think that's about it I don't even think I need my camera but should I should I get my camera yes I should I'll be right back all right I'm back again so let the uh, destruction begin actually let me get my what do you call that here I need this this and I believe it's quarter inch for these. And for how many of these I can take off with my hand? Ah, uh, all these plastics are actually pretty good on this game. They're a little heat warped. Okay, that's new with those plastics. Uh, we will take pictures of them. I should just go through them. Oh, I got that. Nice little tool to have here. I got this from Pinball Resource. It's um, for these little stubborn nuts that sometimes when you take these off and the post nuts spin with them like this one's doing. Just get in there and um, unloosen them, and you won't take the post nut up with it. Uh, what else was I gonna say? I can't remember. Um, if you remember what I said, go in the comments and ask me what I just said that I forgot. Man, I can't wait to play this game. I cannot wait to play this game. I have played it. These are all tiny little screws. I have pictures of all of them. That's a nice long one. Man, this game's gonna be fun. Because those plastics are so long. Just had a box that you fit in. Keeping these screws separate because that way I know they're playfield um, plastic screws. And what I will do is I will um, polish the heads on them since they're going to be poking up through the top. Just give them a little shine. The shiny is good. But anyways, it's Mother's Day today. So happy Mother's Day to all you ladies that are watching. If you're a mother or soon to be a mother, or even if you got fur babies, you're still a mother. Okay, let's get my garbage can here. Some of these rubbers are gonna go in the garbage right away. And some of the tiny ones, I'll just throw them over there. Some of the tiny ones I will be keeping for um, when I do my um, the chime box mod. 
if these ones are in good condition, which looks like they are. Looks like somebody re-rubbered this really recently. So I wonder if the people that I bought it from went and re-rubbered it just to um, get a couple extra bucks out of it. I'm almost wondering it because they're not shot. They're getting replaced, but they're not shot. So anyway, so I'll put my camera and I'll snap some pictures of that. Main reason I want to get pictures, I have never seen these bulb standoffs. Which are these little clear things that go around the bulbs. I have never seen them on there before. So I kind of want to put them back where they are. Plus, you know me, I take pictures of how every thing is. It's weird to get these little pieces of plastic there, too. And I think that's all I need for my camera. And yes, I learned to put my camera over to the side to keep it out of the way yeah I don't know maybe these haven't been replaced maybe they were replaced a long time ago which I believe and then again let's put in the storage I think that's what I'm guessing now I don't know if I'm going to reuse these bulb standoffs or not I will ask around and see if other people are using them too. Okay, now we're going to look at post differences. I haven't really ever showed that before, but um, one machine I just did recently, Gold Strike, had two two posts that were bigger than every other one and here I do not see that so always check that and mark where they are you know what I'm just going to put all the screws in there screw it where are we going to put these we'll put these in here Use the box. So, what is everybody doing today? Like I said, it's Mother's Day today. I don't have a mother. I haven't had one for a while. So, I got a wife though. And she's just chilling upstairs doing her thing. Yeah, bunch girl. So, we will be grilling in the house, which I guess really isn't grilling. But, um,. We will be having steak on um, George Foreman today. So what are you guys doing? Do you put your ideas or thoughts in the comments? We can have fun with them. That camera right there is going to die. But since this one's going, we'll just leave it. We don't need that stinking camera. Um, these I'm going to take apart. I'm going to take more pictures of them. So we'll just leave it for now. Actually, I'm going to leave them alone because that's going to be another video.
Same with the pop bumpers. That'll be another video. Look at that, I am so awesome the way I did that. Um, this machine is my personal machine. This is not a customer's machine. But this machine will get done exactly how I do the customer machines. Because I am no better than a customer. So my machines are getting done exactly the same. I treat the customer machines and my machines exactly the same. Let's do this instead. So what I do to my machines, I'm doing to yours. I might um, spend more time working on my play field than yours. If you're a customer, no reason why, because it's my play field. I might touch it up. You might not want that. You might want that, but I might not want to do it because it's a pain in the butt to touch up the play field. So that'd be the other, only other thing. But I will be going through this exactly like a customer machine. I am actually my worst customer. Because I want it perfect. So the customer machines and my machines get that same level of perfectness. My problem with this machine, if I do screw it up, it'll still be sitting here where I can um, work on it for a little bit. I'm surprised that battery didn't die yet. I'm not putting it back together. These are the little posts I was talking about. These. This goes right in there and stops it from spinning so I can take off the cap. So that's what I was talking about. Now I'll remove this. You know who sang that? Put it in the comments. And I believe that same singer also did um, We Like, We Like, We Like Ugly Women. I think they did that song. I'm not sure. So that comes off like that. That comes off like that. And this will slide back that way. I will have to. Lift up the play field to get that part out. Let's get my hand under there. Oh, I kicked you. I'm sorry. This is the same thing. Two pieces. Those will get polished up too, just like I do on other machines. Alrighty then. Um, next part is let's set this stuff over here. Let's move you here while you're still working. Let's set this right there. That there. Get that there. Get that there. Screws go here. Okay. 
Those are long ass hooks. Look at that. Those are long. I've never seen them that long before. Usually they're just little tab holes. And they're... This is going to be another video too. Doing that. Um, just because people probably haven't seen that picture. Let's get a picture of that. <laughs> All right. Let's take these. Those I ain't worried about. These are different. So I'll put those back there. And that is the Playfield disassembly. So thanks for watching. Check out the description. Um, there might be some interesting things in the description. Follow us on Facebook, like and subscribe to us on Mark's Basement Arcade on YouTube, and later.